Story Box presents A Wolf at the Door. Once upon a time, a group of happy pigs lived in a pretty road called Lilac Avenue. The houses were all different colours white, pink, and blue, and the gardens were full of flowers. One morning, Mr. Elegant got up and put on his green suit, his sky blue shirt, and his little white silk scarf. He was busy arranging the curtains in his living room when he heard the doorbell ring. Ding dong! Dilly dong! Ah, that must be the florist delivering my roses, said Mr. Elegant. Mr. Elegant opened the door and found himself face to face with a very big wolf. The wolf was wearing a black suit, a white shirt and a tie. He had a big mouth, and when he smiled he showed his shiny teeth. He was carrying a big black bag. The wolf started to say, Good! Mr. Elegant gave a terrified squeal, Aah! and slammed the door in his face. Mr. Elegant ran through to the kitchen and out the back door. There's a wolf! A big fierce wolf! he shouted. He rushed out in his slippers without even stopping to put on his shoes. He ran to his neighbour, Mr. Cookie's house, and began hammering on the door. Mr. Cookie! Mr. Cookie! he shouted. Mr. Cookie opened the door and Mr. Elegant dived into the house. It smelled of chocolate cake. Quick, lock the door! We're in danger! A big fierce wolf came to my house to catch me! Catch you? said Mr. Cookie. That's terrible! Yes, he had a big black bag and I'm sure he already had some other pigs in there! How awful! whimpered Mr. Cookie. Mr. Cookie was very upset. He decided that he desperately needed a cup of tea. And of course, if he was having a cup of tea, he needed some biscuits to go with it. So Mr. Cookie fetched two cups, a steaming pot of tea, and a plate of delicious biscuits. Let's have a little snack, he said. It will help us feel better. But poor Mr. Elegant was so scared that he couldn't eat a thing. Mr. Cookie was on his fourth biscuit when someone rang the doorbell. Dong, dong, ding, 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 dong. Ah, that must be the baker delivering my rolls and sugared buns, said Mr. Cookie. He walked over to the door, unlocked it and opened it. He found himself face to face with the big wolf, smiling his toothy smile. The wolf just had time to say, Good! before Mr. Cookie gave a terrified squeal, Rawr! followed by another terrified squeal from Mr. Elegant. Ah! Mr. Cookie slammed the front door shut and the two pigs rushed out the back door. They arrived at Mrs. Melody's house and banged on her door as hard as they could. Mrs. Melody was humming as she did the housework. She opened the door and sang, Hello, my friends, oh, but what has happened to you? The two pigs rushed into Mrs. Melody's house and hid under the table. A wolf! Th there's a wolf! stammered Mr. Cookie. A huge wolf tried to catch us and eat us! What are you talking about? Not all wolves eat pigs, you know, said Mrs. Melody. Come out from under there and sing a little song with me. Singing always makes you feel better. She put on a record of happy music and sang along in her best voice. Oh, la 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 la. Then she went back to doing the housework. 
The two scared pigs trembled under the table while Mrs. Melody dusted and sang. Suddenly the doorbell rang. Ding, ding, ding-a-ling-ling. Ling. Mrs. Melody hummed to herself as she opened the door. Good morning, madam, said a deep voice. I am Norman Wolfe, and I sell vacuum cleaners. I would like to show you the new XC-3000 model. It's super powerful and silent, too, said the wolf. He pointed to his big black bag. Silent? said Mrs. Melody. That's exactly what I need so that I can clean the house and listen to music at the same time. She invited the wolf into the house. You know how this story ends, don't you? Mr. Wolf showed Mrs. Melody the vacuum cleaner and all its accessories, the automatic cable winder, the air freshener spray, and the built-in radio. Mrs. Melody was thrilled. As for Mr. Elegant and Mr. Cookie, they felt very silly for having accused nice Mr. Wolf of wanting to eat them. So to make him feel better, they both ordered an XC-3000 vacuum cleaner. The End